I'm Dan Fitzpatrick at StockMarketMentor.com. Look, if you're a hardcore trader, you probably have CNBC on all day long. You watch the opening bell, power lunch, the closing bell, fast money, mad money. You see all kinds of stocks covered during the day. Okay, well, I'm here to talk about three of them that you saw on TV and tell you what you didn't hear on TV. And let's see if we can make some money. Uh, first, we're going to look at LinkedIn here. Um, all of these stocks, LinkedIn, Tableau, and Splunk, were covered by Jim Cramer on uh, Mad Money. He says you want to stay away from them for now. I almost want to say forever, but that's just me. But let's look at this. At LinkedIn, yes, you want to stay away from this stock. It's just under massive distribution. It's about 110 bucks away from ultimate support. But as a trader, here's a trade that you can make. The low on Friday was 102.81. The stock is now trading at 110. Okay, so that gives you from where it is now to where the low was about 6.5%. If you want to buy this stock, what you would do is you would define your risk. It's really simple. You just put a stop just a little bit below this level, then the only way you are losing money on the stock is if it actually goes to a new low. As long as it stays above this level, then you're really okay and you can just trade the wiggles and jiggles. This would only be though for a trade. Seriously, I think this company, uh, I mean, look, I don't think much of this company, frankly, and I'm talking about just what they do, um, their product, uh, I just don't know how they make any money at all. And obviously after the kind of pullback that it's had in a couple of days, 43% or whatever, I think a lot of other people are wondering the same thing I am. So ultimately stay away, but you could probably make a little trade out of it. Okay, Tableau, the thing that to note here is massive volume on Friday, certainly heavy volume today relative to what average volume has been. Average volume, you know, back here, uh, average volume was uh, about 1.2 million a day here just today. We have a lot more, almost 7 million, but much lower than Friday's low. This is still a falling knife though. You look at the weekly chart and this is 37 bucks above ultimate support. I'm telling you on this one, don't try to fade this. Just let the stock do what it's going to do. It'll probably overshoot to the downside. Um, some would say that it already has. Um, I've got these Bollinger Bands actually set at three standard deviations. It's almost like against, it's, it's, it's breaking a rule of statistics that the stock trades below the third standard deviation for two days in a row. So this is ripe for some kind of pullback or some kind of pause that refreshes. But I'll give you actually the same deal as I, I just talked about on LinkedIn. Use today's intraday low. That's Monday's intraday low of 36.86. The stock has to be trading above that level. If it's not, don't buy it. And again, it would just be for an oversold bounce. Don't expect too much out of it because this is massive institutional selling. Okay, Splunk is another one. Okay, they really got dumped on Friday, even more so today. Once again, the weekly chart shows a stock that looks like it's about 32 bucks above ultimate support. And what I mean by that is what I'm, I'm it's kind of tongue in cheek. These stocks just look like they're going to zero. They're not, but they just look that way. Stocks always shoot overshoot on the downside and on the upside when momentum is really, really strong. Um, this is one of those as well. Ultimately, you can make money on this. On the long side, you just want to wait for a show of strength. Here, it would be the same deal. The stock needs to stay above 31.57. But know this on all of them, you are trying to catch a falling knife if you're making this trade. Okay, see this little box, like this little kind of box right there. The little green box there, or this one here is a red one. Okay, this is a hammer pattern. 
so is this. It's a bullish hammer pattern. It comes from the term hammering out a base. Ideally, these are what you want to see. Something like this, something like this. You want to see this on the bottom of this. That indicates an intraday reversal where the stock sold off and then couldn't keep going throughout the day, had to snap back as buyers came in. We're not there yet on Splunk, certainly not there on data, and we're almost there on LinkedIn. So between the three of these, this is the one that's actually showing the better possibilities for making money. The other two are just possibilities with the parameters that I laid out. So, okay, um, that's it. Hope this helps you making some money on these three stocks I saw on TV. I'll see you tomorrow.